comes the midweek edition of the Family Feud. I'm still here, your host, Lucky McCoy. Let's remind ourselves who's playing. And defending their crown. Looking to settle the score. You've got this down, but a quick recap. I give you a survey, and you tell me what answers you think are popular. We're gearing up for a real showdown. Get ready to go full Nick Cage, because it's time for the face-off. Can I have a person from each team join me over here? Look for all eight answers to this one. When you have an answer to our survey, buzz in as fast as you can. Whoever finds the top answer first gets to decide if they want to play or pass. We got 100 people to answer the following question. Name a sport in which you might fall off something. You got in first. Yeah. Yeah. That's your answer. Our survey said, surfing. That's not what we're looking for. Got an answer for me? Name a sport in which you might fall off something. All righty then. Let's see what the survey says. Sailing. Oh, swing and a miss. Let's see if you can find the top answer. Name a sport in which you might fall off something. Good answer. Yeah. Got it. Our survey says... Gymnastics. Way to go, sport. That's on the board. Is it your time to play or pass? You won last time, and now you run a roll. Let's play this thing. Have you got something for us? Right. Good. Oh, nice. I see where you're going with this. Let's check the board. Bull riding. There it is. Oh, right. yes. Hey there. Looks like it's your turn. Uh huh. Okay, sure. Show me the answer. That's not up there, so here's your first strike. Ouch. Moving along the feud chain. Okay. Okay, then. Survey said, cycling. It's a good answer, but there's still a better one to be found. Nice. Oh, nice. Name a sport in which you might fall off something.
said with confidence. Our survey says, climbing. Well, you hit the target, but it's not a bullseye. Uh -huh. Good. You look like someone who's got a good guess for us. Hum. That's oh, great. Yeah. Feeling lucky? The survey says, skating. Excellent oh. job. Yeah. What do you think? Maybe. Good answer. Okay. Only a few answers left. Have you found one of them? Snowboarding. It's correct, but there's a better answer out there. Name a sport in which you might fall off something. Another strike. <laughs> Think you've got an answer? Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that one of the remaining answers? And that's three strikes. There's an opportunity to steal here. It only takes one right answer to steal those points. If your answer is on that board, you'll steal that money in the bank. That's what you're going with? Let's take a look. Pole vaulting. No! We've got a win over here. You missed some answers. Let's see what they are. Show me the third answer. Diving. I can't believe we couldn't find the top answer. What was it? Horseback riding. It's time to check out the current scores. Only one round down. There's still everything to play for. Nowhere near as painful as it sounds, it's the face-off. I want two people to join me over here. There's six answers up there. Get those buzzer fingers ready. We asked 100 people. Name something a seven-year-old takes with them when they run away from home. You're up first. Good, Good. okay. Did anyone in the survey say this? Toy. It's the number one answer. Now here's the million dollar question, play or pass.
We're on the lookout for another win. Let's get to it. What will you go for? Um... We have an answer. Is it on the board? Clothes. Good job. Woo. Get your feuding face on. It's your go. Yes. Let's run with it. Crayons. Uh-oh, it's not there. And that means you've got yourself a strike. Uh-oh. Name something a seven-year-old takes with them when they run away from home. Answer accepted. Let's see if it's there. Phone. Strike two. Okay, people, let's be careful here. You can still do it. So what's your guess gonna be? Interesting answer. Survey says, blanket. You're still in this. Oh, yeah. One more strike, and the other family gets to try for a steal. Good. Yeah, that's a good answer. All right, let's try it. Is it there? Food. This game is not over yet. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Name something a seven-year-old takes with them when uh. they run away from home. Oh. A pass. Interesting choice. The yeah. other family has a chance. If you want to steal this round, you need to find me a missing answer. If this answer is up there, you take the points for this round. That's what you think, huh? Could it be there? Bike. You've blown it. You've won this round. What were our leftover answers? Number six. Pet. Answer number five. What are you? Suitcase. All right. Let's see where we're at. One of our families is on the board, while the other family has nothing. It's time for a face-off. Who's playing this time? Get yourselves over here. There are seven answers for this question. Whoa, things are getting hot in here because the points in this round are doubled. We took a survey of 100 people, asking them, Name something people try to keep when they get divorced. You're up. Good oh, yeah. Understood. And what did our survey say? House. Numero uno. 
You can play or pass and force the other family to play. You gonna play again? Okay. I need an answer. Uh... Right nice. Do we have a right answer? Pet. We're in the points. All right. Yes. Your guess, buddy. That's good. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Kids. Nice job. You're up. What you got for me? Sure thing. What did our survey say? Money. It's up there. Oh. Name something people try to keep when they get divorced. Are you sure about that? Is it up there? Let's hope so. Furniture. You failed to find an answer, which means you get your first strike of the round. No. Time for your guess. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Here we go then. Did our survey say it? Friends. That's your second strike right there. Oh. If you get this, the money in the bank is yours. Oh. If not, the other family might steal it. All right. Is it up there? Car. You're still hanging in there. Oh. Nice. Look, we've got two strikes. We gotta be careful. Oh. oh yeah. Yep. Is that one of the ones we're still looking for? Church. That's three. Oh, -ho! our other family has a chance to steal. To steal the points, all they've got to do is find one right answer. Is it there? If it is, you've scored a steal. If not, the points go straight over to the other side. Got it. Time to check the board. Golf clubs. No steal. You win, so the points go over here. What are the answers we didn't find? Number seven, not so lucky this time. Sanity. Let's see number four. Jewelry. Before we start another round, let's find out who's on top. We're three rounds down and one score still says zero. But there's always a chance for a big change. Are you ready for another face-off? Who's playing? Let me see you up front. We 
have four to find on this one. All right, now, it's still anyone's game because for this question, the point values are tripled. We asked 100 people to give us an answer to this. Name something you see in almost every hamster's cage. You're in first. What you got? That's great. Yes. Okie dokie. Is that answer good enough? Water. You're on the board, but it's not the number one answer. I'm gonna need your guess. Name something you see in almost every hamster's cage. It's worth a shot. Let's see if that's a good answer. Salt Lake. Dang, not up there. Good try. So, what are you gonna do here? Play or pass? And they're playing again. Give me an answer. Oh? Ah, uh, yes. Did any of our 100 people say it? Wheel! That's a top answer. Two answers are left, just two. What could be easier? Yeah. Yeah. That's, a good answer. That's your answer. Time to find out if it's up there. Betting. That's not on the board, so you've earned yourself a strike. Name something you see in almost every hamster's cage. That's great. All righty then. Let's see it. Wood. Oh, it's another strike. Oops. Got a guess ready? Because I'm going to need one. Um... Got it. Let's see if you're right. Bed. Oh, no, that's strike three. We could be about to witness a steal. One answer will do it, and they can steal the round. If it's up there, you steal the points. If not, they go to the other family. I see where you're going with this. Do we have it? House. That's not it. It's a win over here. It's time to take a look at what we didn't find. Number three, please. Food. Show me the second most popular answer. Hamster. And now it's time for one last look at the scores. We have a winning family. Wow. Well done, folks. Now you're playing fast money. What Sorry, wow. Cooper family, but you didn't make it a win today. Fast, because you're about to play fast money. We need another contestant to join our team captain. Okay, captain, which of this plucky crew do you want to play fast money with? Pick wisely. 
All right, let's play. You're up first. You'll get five questions, and you'll give me the most popular answers for them in order to score the biggest amount of points. If you and your buddy can get 200 points or more, you'll take home the big bucks. The clock's all set. Let's go. Name an occasion where you see people crying tears of joy. Name something people let soak overnight. What do grandkids like to count on grandpa's face? Name something you'd hate to forget to put in a diaper bag. Name the U.S. state that gets the most sunshine. That's all five. Let's see how your partner does with these questions. You're up next, and things are a bit more challenging now. You've got to answer the same questions, but you can't say anything that's already been said. If you do repeat an answer, I'll ask you for another. Okay, start the clock. Name an occasion where you see people crying tears of joy. Name something people let soak overnight. What do grandkids like to count on grandpa's face? Another. Name something you'd hate to forget to put in a diaper bag. Name the U.S. state that gets the most sunshine. That's everything. Okay, you've done all you can. It's time to bring out both contestants and see how the scores came out. For our first question, we asked, Name an occasion where you see people crying tears of joy. These were your answers. Well, what did our survey say? Uh -huh. A top answer. Good going. For question two, we asked, Name something people let soak overnight. So you said, Let's see what our survey said. Yeah. That's a mighty fine answer and one that's, let's just say, move on, shall we? The top answer? Laundry. For the next question, we asked, what do grandkids like to count on grandpa's face? So here's what you said. Those answers look good, don't they? Oh. A top answer. Number four. Name something you'd hate to forget to put in a diaper bag. What were your answers? These two are looking good. Oh, good on yeah. you. You've earned yourself an impressive victory. Let's see 
the rest of the answers. You're taking home 20,000 big ones. Way to go. Thanks a thousand times for playing. See you back here soon. Goodbye. Come on, you're not gonna leave it like that, are you? How about a rematch?